I have a kind of a funny path towards engaging with AI because my freshman advisor at Stanford gave me the advice to say, well, figure out your major, go through the courses and degrees and circle all the courses that you need to take. And I circled all the courses. And, you know, if I did take all the courses I circled, I'd probably still be in school taking those classes. But I was like, well, what, what was the common pattern? What brought them together? And it was an interest in how we think and how we speak, how we understand ourselves, how we understand the world. And I looked at that and I said, okay, well, what's the kind of an interesting way to approach that? And there was this major just created at Small Systems. I was thinking about creating my own, but then they, they had this major they just created. And it was kind of the study of symbolic systems, things that think, things that talk, things that understand. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. And it involved some uh, areas of courses that I wouldn't have otherwise anticipated, linguistics. Uh, and that's how I encountered AI, because uh, artificial intelligence was a, and cognitive science were key threads about what was going through uh, this major. And I've always been interested in the, the human side of, of the intelligence, the how is it that we think and how we understand the world. But of course, these machines and these, me like they, they, they extend us, they, they, they help us learn, they help us frame, they help us do things. And the fact that you could make one that has a, an intelligence is part of what we then, you know, it's a kind of our Promethean moment. We can, we can make uh, these new things and, uh, and we can uh, journey with them just as we journey with a car, we journey with a plane.